Hey artists, it's Ms. Messer, and I am back with our second step of the Artist Creating Change Project. So right now I have a background on my artwork, and I am going to make, I'm going to use some tools to make the words stop scrolling, because that's the message that I decided on, because I want to spend less time on my phone. So I'm going to stop scrolling. So um, I am going, we are basically going to be using two new buttons today. So you're gonna be using this line button. So if you hover over it, you can see it says line. And then there's one that says shape too. Um, we are gonna be using the line button and the shape button. And look, there's lots of options underneath them. Check out the options underneath line to make the letters ourselves. So we're not actually gonna write them. We're gonna use these tools to kind of like draw and design and create them. So the first letter that I'm gonna show you is S or stop. So um, S is a curvy shape. So I probably don't want to use something that is going to be straight. So I'm going to go ahead and try this scribble button. And if I use the scribble button, I can go ahead and draw the letter S like that. Um, but when I draw that, it's I really hard to see, right? It's pretty thin line and it's gray. So it's not standing out against my background. I want to make sure it stands out because I want these to be really easily read. So I'm going to show you how to change that. Once you've got it highlighted and it's blue, you can do a couple things to change it. So you can change the line color. So maybe I want to change it to yellow. And that does help make it stand out a little bit more, right? Um, but it's still pretty hard to see because it's so thin. So since that's the case, I'm going to, I've got it clicked again. I'm going to go to the line weight and it'll give me some options. It says one PX. Okay. PX stands for pixel. So pixel, um, we talked about this when we talked about Minecraft pixels are little tiny squares of light. So the more little tiny squares of light that are next to each other, the bigger it's going to be. So let's see what 12 pixels looks like. Oh my gosh. So much easier to see with 12 pixels. Um, the other thing you can do is you can go to that format options button and you can do a drop shadow underneath it. It's probably gonna be pretty hard to see this one since it um, has a dark background. You can kind of see it there. Um, maybe I could change the color of it. Oh, oh my gosh, cool. So I made like a white shadow underneath it. I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna move on to the T because my message is stop scrolling. So a T is much more straight, right? It's got straight parts. So I'm gonna try one of these shapes. And maybe one of the shapes I can use is a rectangle. So if I click it and drag it, it's gonna make one rectangle for me. I'm gonna go back and select it again. And I'm gonna click it and drag it. Not two rectangles for me. Now remember, uh, oops, sorry y'all. You can go back to this, click it, and then mess with it. See how you can change it. So you could make, it has a black line around it. You can make that a different color. Maybe you wanna make it purple. You could change the weight of it again. Whoa, actually I really like that. So I'm gonna do that on both of mine. See, I'm going back, changing it to purple, and then making it eight. Ooh, that's really interesting. I have a really nice T. So I've got S, T, then I wanna do O. Um, I'm gonna show you um, another couple ideas in the next video, but you can start with these.